What are some skinny people problems? Cold. Men's pants. So many times I've gone into the store looking for 29 inches or 30 inches waist and just walked out because they had zero in my size. I know this happens on the other side of the spectrum too, it's just tough. Thank God for the internet and being able to order the right size. Getting up too quickly and your vision going black for a few seconds. Everyone assumes I'm really shallow and must be obsessed with looks to be this skinny. The truth is, I don't get hungry often and when I do, I simply cannot eat large quantities of food, because I was just born with a small frame. But people find that impossible to believe so I am often accused of having eating disorders or being one of those California granola filled phonies that's all grass fed non GMO lactose free gluten free cage free organic etc etc, or even worse, being judgmental about how much others eat, I am just really uncomfortable because I can't eat as much and I guess it comes across as snobby or passive aggressive and judgmental. And people tell us it's not a problem. I struggle every single day to keep my weight up and in the healthy zone. But I can't ever talk about it because everyone, literally this happened, just laughs like it's a ridiculous first world problem that I have no right to complain about. Well guess what, yeah it's really uncomfortable and straight up painful when I have to force myself to eat and if I don't, I fall asleep or pass out due to lack of energy. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Not a skinny boy. But I imagine sitting for a long period of time starts to hurt on the ass. People telling you that you need to eat more. Crawl spaces and attics. The small guys always get sent where the bigger guys can't easily go. They deserve more bread for their heroics. Being so incredibly cold all the time. Zero ability to thermoregulate. And being too skinny is just as bad for your health as being fat. Not being able to adjust the height of your chair cause you're too light. ITT, humble bragging. I'm a larger person but my boyfriend is thin and he told me before we got together when he'd slept with someone else thin like him their hip bones had hit against each other painfully. He described it as knives hitting each other. Not being able to talk about bodily insecurities. You'd be surprised how many tell you they're a joke or funny, or irrelevant because they have it worse. Sometimes I think you're just going to blow away. You're so lucky, I'd do anything to have a body like yours but you haven't eaten in 3 days. Always feeling like you're going to pass out. Never having enough energy. Feeling weak, unstable, sick to your stomach constantly. You don't even need to go to the gym, you're already skinny when you need to put on muscle to hold you up. When you get sick, you get sick, and sometimes go septic. You also just get sick very easily. Vitamin deficiencies cause many problems with nails, teeth, bones, muscles, organs. Height to weight ratio is often poor on clothes. Belts are literally your best friend, but it's really hard to find a belt your size and often have to put your own holes in them. Also they're uncomfortable. Eat more eat more eat more when you've been eating a ridiculous amount of food. Be careful how you're eating. You don't want to gain too much weight, you won't stay skinny forever. My brother was bullied in our younger days due to him being extremely skinny. As a girl I wasn't necessarily bullied, but was constantly bombarded with comments that either perpetuate extremely poor and incredibly unhealthy habits, tell you your anxieties are minimal in comparison to a larger whole, and sometimes downright make you feel like shit about how you look from strangers, but friends and family especially. They don't mean to hurt you and just want you to be healthy, but they simply just don't understand the implications of what they tell you. Way more throwable than non-skinny people. Celiac. Skinny shaming. Like I'm the sore, skinny thumb in a group of not skinny women who snidely look me up and down and appear to not want me around to remind them they are a not skinny. This has happened many, many times in my life. With women only, BTW. I'm not an athlete. I don't work out. I eat pretty well, not a vegan or anything. I'm just made this way. Try not to judge me, too, you not skinnies out there. Two wrongs don't make a right. Thanks for letting me vent. 
Everything in this thread is accurate. But the thing that's the worst for me is that nobody thinks twice about commenting on your body. Total strangers will just immediately start talking about how thin you are, or how they bet you never eat, or they wish they looked like that. It's extremely uncomfortable, not to mention incredibly rude. I'm pretty tiny thanks to a good amount of medical problems. The sheer amount of disrespectful people that come up to me to poke my ribs and wrap their fingers round my wrist makes me cry regularly. Endless comments about needing a burger and my go-to Halloween costume having to be a skeleton. And I can't say jack shit about it either, because every time I'm told to take it as a compliment, I've started just telling my sob story of medical issues to make people uncomfortable, which, still doesn't work because then I get told off by the latest groping Karen for making people uncomfortable. I have no win and a lot of too big sweaters to hide me in. I'm tired. People trying to make you eat more slash assuming you have an ed. I eat enough dude, leave me alone, seriously. Also being easily movable. No one says, damn, you're fat, but they have no problem saying, damn, you are skinny. You look like a stick, eat a sandwich, etc. It gets sold before the end of elementary school but it never stops. My pants fall down. I feel the cold so dot much. Worst thing is, I used to be a chunky bastard and had layers of blubber to keep me warm. You get cold super easy. The double standard with overweight people. You can get bullied for being skinny and no one bats an eye but if someone overweight is called fat etc you wouldn't be let off so easily. Happen to many people I know. Just to clarify, I'm against both. I think the main issue is we feel we won't be validated in feeling bad about our bodies cause if we mention we don't like how we look it will just be followed up with but your skin and bones. People saying I need to gain weight and not understand me when I explain that no matter how much I work out or eat which is almost always more than the person questioning me that it simply doesn't happen because of my stupid fast metabolism. Took me a year to gain 15 pounds. The constant comments about food. I wish I could eat like you and not gain weight, must be nice to fill up so fast and not eat a whole meal. Just eat this cake slash cookie slash burger, you can afford to gain a few. Dude, I will happily trade you a lifetime of multiple gastric issues and dietary restrictions so I can enjoy a whole meal full of tasty treats that won't leave me with days of pain and suffering. I'm a nurse and although I am curvy myself, there are a few things medically I've noticed from the nursing perspective that only happen to thin people. Less body fat means you're more prone to pressure injury and bed sores. If you ever need a chest tube or any kind of medical drain that is pressurized, it's more difficult to create a seal around the entry point because there is less subcutaneous fat. Also skinny old people can be really hard to put IVs into, because their veins roll around more without a layer of fat holding them in place. When you reach a fitness goal, you feel guilty celebrating or talking about it because most people are bigger than you and it seem like you're bragging or insulting slash hurting them inadvertently. Deleted. To be skinny and tall and find a fucking pair of pants that fits. Kinda hard to find a 29 waist and 32 in length. Thankfully skinny jeans became a fashion because skinny jeans on a skinny guy is essentially just normal jeans. Fuck you fat America. I get body shamed by fat people. Have to go in all the tight spaces, being skinny and tall means no shirt ever fits right. Finding pants that fit was a nightmare when I was young. Eventually I figured out I could get odd sizes online, but it was very rare to find jeans with W28L3234. Everyone assuming it's a luxury to be skinny is the worst. I lost a ton of weight due to illness and the same illness has kept me from being able to gain any weight back, I continue to wither away. I'm tired of being told it must be so nice to be this thin. This, along with comments about the type and quantity of the food I eat is why I refuse to eat around many people, I'm just so angry with them for assuming that I care about my weight as much as they do. I simply want to be healthy and be able to enjoy food again. People have no problem saying rude things to you about weight. The cold. If you're very skinny, 
you don't have much insulation from body fat, and the cold can feel painful. You have to buy pretty much tight clothing to look as regular clothing. And if the clothes are too tight, everyone can see your ribs and stuff. We'll be right back.